My name's Nick Dolding. I'm an advertising photographer and I've been shooting since uh, a long time, since the 80s. Recently, campaigns I've worked on for NHS and the latest one, which we're just doing the second series of pictures, is Talking Therapies and it's uh, about people's mental health. It's quite important for me to obviously keep keep my mental health in a good space and I think it's a really it's really good that more and more people are being made aware of it. Hi I'm Louis Quell I'm a photographer. The reason I made this book about Justin is he you know he does have this condition uh, which is schizophrenia which is very difficult for him sometimes but not all the time but what happens in society is, because of his condition, uh, for all sorts of complicated reasons, schizophrenia and everything that makes Justin who he is today, uh, it means that people tend to see the illness before they see the person. That Justin is more than his illness. Mental health is part of his life, but it's not all of his life. I shoot mainly black and white photographs because I enjoy the simplicity of black and white. I enjoy the the, the light, the texture, the feel of the images. Photography for me is an emotional reconnection with the world that I live in. So today I'm here on behalf of Wex Photo Video to talk to you about mindfulness in photography and how photography has helped me reconnect with my own identity and the world around me. Using photography as a vehicle to help me recover from my own mental health problems. I'm Daniel Regan and I am a photographic artist making work around health and in particular mental health. I make deeply personal photographic projects about my own experiences as somebody living with a mental health condition and I also work on participatory projects and working with other groups of people affected by both physical and mental health difficulties. I'm still responding to some of my really personal experiences and using photography to process um, some of the traumatic events that I've experienced. But it's definitely shifted into more socially engaged works as I continue to feel better um, and working with lots and lots of different communities and supporting them to use photography to process. I think everything is about process for me, using photography as a way to process life.